In the dark corners of Chicago in the 1970s, there lived a man whom no one would suspect of harboring dark secrets. John Wayne Gacy, a respected businessman and social activist, had a charming smile and an innocent appearance. But behind that facade lurked a beast. One day, as children's imaginations were filled with colorful dreams, Gacy decided to change his face. Donning colorful clown costumes, he took on the persona of the killer clown, performing shows for children at various events. His behavior endeared him to the community, gaining their trust. However, beneath that mask lay a sinister obsession. In his home, Gacy constructed a labyrinth of underground corridors and rooms. These hidden chambers served as the backdrop for unknown individuals to meet their horrifying demise. Gacy would murder young men who unwittingly fell into his web of deceit. One of the most chilling aspects of Gacy's crimes was how he blended his two identities. When victims entered his home, they witnessed the terrifying transition from a joyful clown to a sadistic killer. Gacy would torture, rape, and ultimately murder his victims. Their bodies were concealed in the basement or discarded in nearby rivers. For a long time, Gacy eluded capture, and his victims were treated as missing persons. It wasn't until 1978, when one of his victims began to reveal Gacy's suspicious behavior, that investigators began to gather evidence. A search of his home uncovered grisly traces of his crimes. Gacy's trial became a media spectacle. His crimes and perversions shocked society. He was found guilty of the murder of 33 young men and sentenced to death. Prior to his execution, the killer attempted to rationalize his actions, but his words were empty and incapable of washing away the blood on his hands. The story of John Wayne Gacy is a chilling reminder of the dark sides of human nature. It illustrates how someone can hide their true self behind a facade of normalcy, carrying out unspeakable horrors. The legacy of the killer clown continues to haunt our collective consciousness serving as a cautionary tale of the depths of human depravity.